Hey, how are y'all doing today? Everybody doing all right? Getting ready for the holidays, I hope? Coming upon us. Or by the time I get this out, they might already be done. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I've found myself in needs of being able to adjust the height of a workbench for a piece I'm working on. So I'm going to make myself one. Got a little bit of carving to do, and it would be nice to be able to lower the height of the work counter that I'm on. Instead of having to move or stand up or adjust my working height, you get comfortable working at a certain height with tools. So it's nice to be able to adjust the height of your work piece. So that's what we're going to be building today. I actually had the uh, underneath carriage box and the top. Uh, like I've told you guys in the past, I'm a commercial contractor. I remodel office buildings. So one of my cabinet shops, I wanted them out of black laminate, finished, went ahead and threw together the bottom, uh, the support box, and made a top for me. I've uh, tried my hand with plastic laminate several times, and I'm not the best at it. And uh, besides, you could build your lift box and your top out of anything you want. It doesn't matter. Make it look pretty like me, which is the way I like it, or plain, simple, and practical. But the uh, nice feature of it is I've got about 10 inches or 12 inches, I think. No, excuse me. Yeah, 13 inches of uh, height where I can raise and lower the bench, which is very nice. So I'm going to show you all how I did that. Okay, let's get at it. Okay, y'all, this is a 1,500-pound hydraulic motorcycle jack. And I don't have any need for a motorcycle jack. Last motorcycle I had was a Kawasaki. Uh, I think it was a 100 or a 150 dirt bike. But that was years ago, and me and my brothers shared it and tore up a lot of ditches with it. But those days are gone. But the reason for this hydraulic jack, it's uh, like I say, got 1,500 pound capacity, which is awesome for the bench. You could just about put anything you could get on top of it on it. And you can adjust it with your foot. You don't need a, uh, a rod twister. I'm just going to get a little closer here for you so you all can see that. I haven't taken it out of the box yet. I got this at Northern Tool Supplies. It cost around $150. Um, what's that other company's name? Oh, Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight has one very similar for $99, which would have saved me 50 bucks, but you had to use that crank rod to lower it up and down, whereas this one you can do with your foot. So the uh, crank rod would have gotten in the way of the shelf that I'm putting on top of it, although it would work fine for a motorcycle lift, it wouldn't work that great for me. Could I do it? Yes, I could have done it and saved 50 bucks, but I really like this one with the foot lift. So again, I got this at Northern Tools. You can order it online through their store, or you can pick it up right at the store. And I'm going to put it together here real quick, and then I'm going to show you all what I did with it. And like I say, I had the top and the base pre-made, so that'll just simply be a matter of screwing them on. Y'all don't have to watch me cut up plywood and my sloppy work doing uh, PLAM work, uh, contact cement and plastic laminate and so on. I'm okay at it, but it's not really my thing. And the guys at the cabinet shop were glad to put it together for me. So, let's get at it. And here's that laminate box I was telling y'all the cabinet shop was going to throw together for me. Just made out of three quarter inch plywood, all glued and screwed. And then black plastic laminate put on all the sides. Here it is out of the box, y'all. Didn't require much assembly at all. Okay. The way this particular jack works, you just tighten this lever, and then it's a foot pedal type. And I should be able to get my counter between 19 and 30 inches. That's what I'm shooting for. And it would pick your motorcycle up. What I did do here, these two bolts did not come on it from the factory. I put those on 
because when the jack goes all the way down to the bottom on those last two inches it would drop out of level and I didn't want it dropping out of level and I went ahead and took the glue off of these because I'm gonna take these off now what I'm gonna do here is drill a couple of holes that's hard to do with a camera in your hand so I can mount that cabinet on top and then the, the uh, top cabinet the, uh, excuse me the countertop and if you notice when it goes up it gets closer to the jack so I've got to pres <laughs> shaking y'all around here ain't I so I've got to position the box on top so that as it goes up it clears the high point of the jack here so let me get at it and mark some holes out okay guys I went and got my four holes drilled I drilled three eighths holes now I'm gonna place the box on there and get it right exactly where I want it to sit and then mark the holes real technical stuff there all right right there is where I want it to sit so gotta go underneath and mark my holes There we go, get it flipped over and put some holes in it. There we go guys, we got it bolted on right where we want it. Uh, let's see if I can show you all that. Four bolts on the inside and it's done. And like I say, the top's not on it yet. But Adjustable. And of course we're gonna go ahead and glue it y'all so let me lay it down and get some screws put in it there we go guys it's all built not okay guys we got it all built sorry it just didn't look pretty enough for this shop Oh God, I hope y'all guys can appreciate my sense of humor, I'll tell you. Uh, but it'll adjust from 19 inches to 30 and a half inches in height and hold 1,500 pounds. Uh, go ahead and raise it up, Berta. Crank it up there. And you can stop anywhere you want, any height. You got a piece you're working on it, just adjust it and bring it back down. And I left a lot of overhang on the sides. So I could clamp something down on it very easily. Also a good exercise machine for the leg. As Berta is working out right now. There you go. And up to 30 and a half inches. And guys that's all there is to it. When you want to bring it down just twist the knob. And down it goes. And of course you can twist it very soon very slightly not like Berto did there <laughs> <laughs> and it will go slower <laughs> so anyway guys hope you all liked it here you go guys I'll give you a close-up look at it a little extra trim I had made laying around some extra just threw it on there you know how it is what can I say anyway there you go one adjustable height workbench now I can get my uh, thing I'm carving clamped up on it and get to work. Thanks y'all.
There you are. Good to see you again, guys. I uh, hope you all like my little table there. Sorry about Mr. Berto slamming it down. It will adjust back down to any height you want just by twisting that little bar. And they gave you a black pull handle with it, which you can also use to reach and adjust the uh, the pressure bar, the you know the release thing to lower the table down. And uh, it worked out great for me. Uh, holds a lot of weight. You can buy some little pre-lift tables like that, but they won't hold that much weight. They got a metal thin top, hard to clamp to, and so on. And uh, I did have one issue with it when I was using it for the base of the Peacock. It was wobbly a little bit. Not unbearable, but wobbly. So in the midst of doing that, I built a little outrigger on it. Uh, basically some screw down legs that stick out six inches on each side and I can lower them down if I need to. They don't have to be down all the time and they don't get in the way of anything. It's basically just a bar sticking across the sticking out six inches on each side then some thread down legs on each end and that sturdied it up real good. So one to let you know. Guys another pleasure sitting here talking to you being with you Hope y'all are all staying safe, doing well. Us down here in Houston, as you probably heard, went through a pretty rough weather patch last week. It doesn't get below zero in Houston, Texas too often. To, uh, to find snow and hail on the uh, Mexico-Texas border is like unheard of. I think one time 30 years ago it was, we had some light, light, light snow that got down this far. And the, uh, the local newspaper put a picture of a small snowman sitting on the beach next to the ocean. You know, where do you see that too often? So, <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll stop rambling. Guys, glad to see you. Glad to be here. If you didn't hit that like button, hit it before we go, please. I'd appreciate it immensely. And a million thank yous. See you all in a bit now. Bye.